And no man might buy or sell, giving all praises to Yahaba, by Hashem, Yahaba Shai, by Hashem Racha Kodash, who brought honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and labor in the word and doctrine, shallow women in peace, may that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. So in Revelation, the 13th chapter, if you know what it is, you already know what it is. If you don't know what it is, get to know what it is. Make we show what it is. So Revelation, the 13th chapter, this deals with the history from the first verse. It talks about a beast rising up out of the sea, right? And this is really, it's the whole of E's empire, you know, coming from Rome. And then it's, when does it rise up? Coming out of the earth in verse 11, that's talking about Babylon the Great, which really is just an extension of, you know, when you understand it, it's just an extension of the pagan Roman Empire, right? It fell, but it didn't really fall. You know, it, it what does it say? It, suffered, it was wounded, but it come back. It did come back. That's why you have the whole concept of the Renaissance, right? This scripture isn't dealing with the Renaissance. You know, you can go into Revelation, the 20th chapter, for a better understanding on that. However, this is dealing with the rebirth of E's global power. So you could call it a renaissance renaissance. You know, E was already in power, but when Babylon the Great rose, that was going to be the final kingdom that would eventually usher in the MOTB, you know, the end times. So it's a precursor to the kingdom. You know, so we get excited for this. We don't get excited because it's wicked and it's evil, and we're wicked and we're evil. We get excited because, Lord willing, if we make it out, we're of the understanding this is necessary prior to our deliverance. Right, we'll try again. Salachia. It's the third time trying it now. Right. So, there was a prerequisite, something that needed to happen prior to our deliverance. And it was this hell, this time of trouble. You know, as Prophet Daniel spoke of. So, Revelation 13 and verse... We'll go right down to the point. Right, the image of the beast is not Caesar Borgia. But it's the word icon, which means their doctrine, philosophy, and ideology of E. And that's what they push out. That's what they try and cause all people to worship, to follow after. Right? Why do all these nations keep birthdays? Right? The ancient Egyptians kept birthdays. The ancient Romans kept birthdays. These were pagan customs, if you like, heathenistic customs. But a lot of Israelites follow after to, uh, follow after it today. Right? Because when we're deculturalized, the only thing we could do is latch on to the culture of the surrounding areas. Similar like Hellenization, right? When we talk about the Gentiles, these people, these Jews in Greece, these Jews in Hellenized lands, lands that behaved, spake, the manners of the Greeks. If you weren't a Jew, if you couldn't call yourself a Jew, the only thing you could default back to to try and blend in was a Greek, was a heathen, right? And some people kept it privily, you know, and they would put an outward appearance of trying to make out like they'd been Hellenized, but really they were keeping the...